This is a Stewart V10 model stationary engine. The kit was initially purchased by my brother who made a good start on machining the castings, the base, the bed plate, the standard and the boring of the cylinder. He passed it on to me a few months ago to complete and there we have the finished article. I'll just start it running on compressed air and then you can see it in operation. As you can see, it's quite a revy engine. The bore is three quarters of an inch and the stroke is three quarters of an inch. So it's effectively what's known as a square engine. Um, that's 19 millimeters in new money. Um, but they were meant for high speed operation, either to drive model steamboats or something like a small model generator, something like that. And uh, in actual fact, I've got one made up here ready to uh, connect at some point. And there we are. That's a model dynamo from the PMR range from America. Again, bought as a kit of parts and made up over here. The engine is increasing the speed as, as we talk. As you can see, it runs quite smoothly, as you'd expect with a high speed engine. I'll just stop it now. So you can actually hear me better when I'm speaking. Now, earlier on, last year, I made another one of these and that's it there. Unpainted as yet. But the interesting thing about this one was that it was bought as a partially made model from eBay and somebody had a go at starting the work on it um, but never quite successfully completed it. I think what happened was that they bought the cylinder and managed to Firstly, bore it over size, which meant that the bar stock, the brass bar stock, which is provided for the piston, wouldn't fit. And also, they hadn't got this port face here aligned at 90 degrees to the bore of the cylinder, which was bound to cause problems sooner or later. So, once I discovered this, I had quite a bit of sorting out to do on it. And I took the chance of boring the cylinder out. To make it true after chewing up the port face and in actual fact it worked out quite successfully because uh, I did manage to bore the thing out without actually piercing the cylinder wall although I'm not quite sure how much metal is left in the cylinder I suspect not a lot uh, for instance the bore was increased from 19 millimeters as it's supposed to be up to 22 and a half millimeters that it's finished up as um, this actually makes that engine a lot 
bigger capacity than the one on the left. Um, for instance, the increase on bar size is about 18%, yet it increases the swept volume by 75%. So I would imagine that the right hand engine would be a lot more powerful uh, once it's got into operation. Um, I've obviously run it on compressed air and uh, it all works fine and just needs taking apart again to repaint. So <clears throat> there you are, there's the sort of before and after if you like. The one nicely finished off with its coats of paint and one with it all still to do. Um, so there we are. I'll give you a few close-ups but it's pretty much the same as the other one. And in time I'm sure I'll finish it off to a similar standard. Thanks for watching.